I've definitely put on a mask since I can remember. It kind of blocked me from seeing things for myself in the world. It made me want to view things how other people around me viewed things and how other people see me. It took me some time to unlearn that. Haven't I seen you in that top before? Haven't I seen you in that trouser before? You have. <laughs> What's your point? My name is Elsa Majumbo. I am from Nairobi, Kenya. I was born in 2001. <laughs> June 29. I always thought I was funny to myself. I would hear the things I would say and I would die of laughter. Every time you go to the gym, you're posting on Instagram. How is it our business? <laughs> How is it our concern? And then other people found me funny on the internet and I didn't expect it. I wanted to meet up, but ooh, it's a pandemic. I really, really wanted to see you, but like, <laughs> pandemic. I just started using the glasses one day and everyone loved them. I want to see you. How does that involve me? <laughs> it's really sounding like a you problem. <laughs> we are going to play chess. Chess keeps my mind running. It's so beautiful. Plus, not many people can play it well, so... I'm gonna go whoop someone's ass. Thank you. Play game of chess? Damn! Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna let you just beat me. I put pressure. Pressure bust pipes. So you gotta be used to the pressure. And chess, the queen is the most powerful piece. But she can be taken down at any point. Check. Oh, yeah, you cheated. No, I'm, no, I'm playing oh, that. Oh, it uh, Oh, she tried to move my priest <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. She you told me the she's ball. a friend. That don't sound like <laughs> a true champion to me. I am shopping to just make a nice little cute meal. Grape tomatoes. I hate apples, so no. Cabbage for coleslaw. Slow, yes, no, yes, no. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm very indecisive, so it takes me like a minute. Okay, spices. Oh, let me get the small. This is cute. Oh, no, it's more expensive. You see, that's it. You have to be a smart shopper. Why should I spend money just because I can? If you can be cheap, guys, be cheap. If I go to a dinner party and the food is bad, I am such a polite guest, I'll eat that food. I will eat that food and I will never come back to your house again. <laughs> it's just as simple as that. I think I'm done. Oh, mayo for the coleslaw. It is $12, so what we're gonna do is return the cabbage because no one likes coleslaw that much. Grocery shopping is one of the things I love most. I love feeding people, but come to my house, eat and leave. And it will be good for everyone. I think it's very hard for someone to sit in their bed and laugh at things that people typically wouldn't laugh about, but people actually know are funny, or to say things that everybody wants to say, but nobody says because everyone's so obsessed with seeming like this moral god or goddess. I'll see you after the pandemic. No, you won't. <laughs> you won't. <laughs> Corona was just an excuse. Now I'm going to find more excuses. <laughs> and you know, the thing is, I, all, I know all these excuses, so when someone uses it on me, I'm not even mad, because I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that's a thing I would do. You're a master of image, how people see you and what you want to put out. Has it been a process? I don't know, because I was just myself and people loved that. Having $5, but meeting people for lunch, that's called bravery. <laughs> There's literally 7 billion people on this planet. 
If a million people don't accept you, there's someone who will. If I don't reply to your messages, it's not by mistake. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I love dressing up. Have you ever done vintage shopping in New York? No. It's definitely a must. What did you wear to the Met? I wore this amazing Valentina dress. How do you spell stunning? E-L-S-A. Thank you. Did you enjoy it, the Met? No. No? Billy looks great, Sawiti looks great, but I've been standing for some time. I'm tired. Labor was not meant for me. Do you have like a fairy dress? Like I look just like a fairy. Cool. I love it. Where would you wear this to though? <laughs> I don't understand. I can wear anything and I'm not afraid of embarrassing the people around me. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a rich mom in the 80s, like I'm going to pick up my kids. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> no, this is no, really this good. Is I get out I just want to say this very few people today have said they like my outfit and I do not appreciate that because I look extremely gorgeous thank you Social media is a platform to express yourself, but it can also be a dark place where bad things happen. When there's millions of eyes viewing you, many people think they know you, many people will abuse you, others will want to see you fail. I have faced a lot a lot, a lot of cyberbullying. Once, my manager showed me an email someone had sent to me. It said, you dirty African bitch. It is not a good feeling to be down and think you are less than what you really are. When my parents found out about my videos, they called a meeting. I hadn't grown up yet, I had like 7,000 followers. My big brother, he looked at me and he told me, you know what, those videos are absolutely disgusting. You know, you're not just embarrassing yourself, you're embarrassing your whole family. You need to understand when people are laughing with you and when they're laughing at you. And I try to explain to them. I try to explain to them um, about my videos. Um, I don't, I don't cry a lot, but um, it's about a year and a half later, and every single time 
I think about that moment, it just, it absolutely breaks my heart. At that time, I just said, I'm stopping all this. You know, I was like, it's not worth it because it started like affecting me mentally. bath my mind just goes blank it's like nothing's ever happened in my life like I've never been through anything like I've never accomplished anything nothing's ever brought me down it's like you're just in your own space and no one can take you away from it about to go down, mm -hmm. about to turn her skin into the paint. Ever since we appeared in this world as dark-skinned people, our skin has become a subject of debate. So as an artist, I want this skin to speak as loudly as possible. Did you know my name is Queen Elsa? I've been trying to figure out if my parents took the name from Frozen or like they had it before. <laughs> Guys, when did Frozen come out? <laughs> I feel like I'm home again. Yay. <laughs> the stories we tell ourselves define ourselves. The whole purpose of this is to feel empowered and to feel that energy when we align with the Ori. The Ori in Yoruba would be your head or your essence or your light. The three sides to the Ori, there's Ori that you are when nobody's looking at you. Then there's Ori that everybody sees. And then there's the Ori that is like your divine true self when you're in line with your purpose. And there's something about being aligned with your purpose that just makes you shine differently and feel connected to your true self. She's fire. Oh. I felt online I could fully be myself because I was in my own space. It was just me. If People were coming, they were coming into my space. I wasn't going into anyone's space, so I never had to compromise for anyone. And that's why I started making the videos. I realized people appreciate comedy when it's from a very honest place. I wish I could have told my seven-year-old self, you're an absolute badass and what people think of you is absolutely irrelevant including the people you think know what's best for you so just do your own thing and be yourself When I 